name is Austin Walker. We're from Somerset, Pennsylvania. Uh, we have a 1973 Peterbilt Standard Hood. We built it pretty much from the frame rails up. Has a 3406B in it, 15 double over, uh, 373 rears. We're running it on high rubber. It pretty much built from the ground up. We found it locally in Somerset, Pennsylvania. Kind of gathered the pieces up, kind of all over the country. The bunk came from Georgia. It's a tiny bunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We tried to keep it pretty close, error correct. My wife, she picked out the colors. Good taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never anticipated it coming out like this. Uh, my cousin Chad, I have to put a lot of thanks into him. He painted it and did all the shiny stuff. My wife, she keeps it as clean as it is. And, of course, the truck has an easy life. It's retired now. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it doesn't have to work every day. But Are you a trucker? Yes, what yes. Uh, right now, stone and gravel locally. Just drive a triaxle, and uh, in fact, my triaxle is the newest truck. Or no, I have a cab over. It's the newest truck I have. It's an '87. <laughs> <laughs> so, You're an owner yeah, owner operator. Uh, I got four 359s. Nice. So, Fourth generation. Yeah, trucking goes way back in my family. My pap had probably about 30 trucks he was running oh, wow. at one point in time. So there's yeah. no hope. No, no. <laughs> I don't know if she was ever, my wife, she, I don't know if she was ever on board with the trucks, like, until this one showed up. Uh -huh. Like, this is definitely hers. I wasn't even sure I was going to bring it home. We went and looked at it, and uh, I don't know why. She's just like, I think you ought to buy that truck. Can you <laughs> drive it at all? I want to learn to drive it, but okay. I can move it in the lot. That's okay. about all. Well, that's fair. She's going to learn. Well, yeah, yeah I, She'll get it out there. Like. I'm working on it, so I get it. It's fun. It's so much fun. It is. is there anything you want to add about this awesome truck? Just that it's brought us all closer together as a family, like even with this extended family. Everybody comes up and it's like our vacation <laughs> and all of the other great people we've met along the way. Like it's just an awesome industry. Do so. you go to shows all over the place? Or? We started, like, we've only, we finished the truck last spring, so this is our second year. We get to see Bob Conrad a lot, got to know him real well over the years, and uh, got to his show this year up in New Hampshire. That was the farthest we ever had it, but we're planning on extending that. Like, yeah, I'm starting to feel pretty comfortable about it, because since we built it, didn't really get to use it and didn't know how it was going to be, but. You it. Yeah, we did stretch it. I stretched out six feet to make the 200, and, uh, is it 255, or no. Cab over is 255. It's 285. Too many trucks. How do you keep them all straight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, never pulled a trailer with it until we went to New Hampshire, but yeah, it worked great. Everything really worked out nice with it. So, real confident we'll be taking it further. And she likes the warm weather, so we may try to get it to Florida next year. She wants some pictures on the beach up there. It's some nice sand around to it. not be sweating. <laughs> <show, though. laughs> That's for sure.